Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to series of videos on lease accounting in Fusion Financials. This is the third video of this series. Uh, in the last video, uh, we discussed the configuration part of the lease accounting. And now we will proceed with uh, the transaction and accounting uh, in lease accounting in Fusion Financials. So just a quick uh, uh, recap of the setups, what we have now in my instance. So as we know that uh, for the finance lease, we need to provide a cost of capital or the uh, or the interest rate which is generally used to calculate the right of use of the assets. So in our example, we are going to consider the that rate of interest as 10%. So this is a part of setup. Uh, this is also the part of setup, I think. I did discuss this in the previous video, but due to time gap, the instance got refreshed. So I did the reconfig, I did the configuration once again. So what all configuration that I'm going to use in the transaction that I'm showing again. The next setup is the different type of payments, what uh, we do for the lease. So in the example also, I started with a uh, example uh, of uh, finance lease of, let us say, if an organization is taking a building on a lease from any vendor. In that case, what all different payments they will be doing, those all, all those will be considered in the right of use. So in our example, we are going to take three different types of payments. So first one is rent. So this is the payment template payment template definition. So in the payment details, like what is the payment term? Immediate one day. So this is this this part. The payment term is taken from is taken from the payable setup. Uh, so that accordingly, uh, payable invoice must be created from the lease accounting module for the payments to be done every month or annually, whatever frequency is defined here. From which supplier to which supplier to which vendor we have to do that type of payment is defined in this place. Now this payment will be part of right of which asset and their liability or not that we mentioned here. So as such rent is a every month payment. So it, it is part of the right of use as well as the liability. It is part of liability because we are going to pay this every month in future. And then if we have any tax information, what we want to send to payables for tax calculation on the invoice, then we do mention those in the tax part. But for simplicity, I'm not going to consider the taxation part at the moment in our illustration. And then the different accounts, what are we, what, uh, will be used to create accounting for this payment. Those all are mentioned in the distribution. So in the screenshot, I'm showing only two, the lease liability and right of use, but in fact, there are many more, which has not, which is not in, so is, it is not visible in the screenshot. But then once you go to the application, you can see that there are many more accounts, which we need to define. So this is, one type of payment, what we do for the building, which we take as a rental. 
The next type of payment can be such as security deposit. It's basically a one-time payment, which we generally do in the beginning of the contract, the rental contract, which starts. If we see here, the supplier is different from the previous. Let me go to the previous slide. Here, the supplier is ABBPT, whereas here, supply is different, ABBT partnership PT. Now, that's, uh, that's uh, one of the difference which I explained in my very first video, how the lease accounting is different from the finance lease, what is there in the fixed asset module. Uh, in lease accounting, we have the facility that since we have a different types of payments, obviously the vendors can be different. So we can create those different types of payments to different vendors in lease accounting. Now here, security deposit, since it's a uh, advanced, generally we already, uh, uh, we have already, generally it is already paid in advance. So it will not be part of the liability. That's what I'm considering, but depending on the situation, uh, we can consider this part of liability, but just for illustration purpose, I'm showing that, I'm assuming that security deposit is given in advance. So it is not, it is not part of the liability but it is part of the right of use. The third payment plot uh, I have defined is insurance. Like I assume that every year we are going to pay the insurance for the building. So it's a annual payment. Again, if you see, if we can see uh, supplier is different and uh, this payment is uh, it will be part of the right of use as well as the liability. So these are the three different types of payments what we have defined in application for the demonstration. Now let us, so these are the setup parts. Let us proceed to the transaction. So in the task panel, um, which is shown here, there are different options. So let us to create a new lease. We need to go to the create lease option. It will pop up a window where we have to give the business unit legal entity, the lease number, when the lease is starting, what is the end of the end date of the lease, who is the main owner of the lease. And uh, we assign a rate of index, which we have defined in system. I defined that as a base, which is 10%. So that's what I have defined, attached here to the lease. So that means for this lease, the discount rate will be taken as 10% for calculation of the right of use. After doing this, click on save and continue. So uh, this is the main workbench for the lease. We can see the status as draft because it is not yet complete. And whatever we just uh, defined is summarized in the overview tab. Next, click on the assets tab and uh, add an asset. So we are going to create an asset for this lease. So we need to provide the asset number. But uh, just point to note, whatever asset we create here right now in the lease accounting, that will not get interface to fixed asset. As of now, uh, that's how the product is. It does not have any integration to fixed asset. It's a standalone assets, what is maintained in lease accounting. So click on the plus symbol to and define our asset. Uh, it will pop up a window, window shown in the bottom part of the screen. Enter the asset number, location. If location is not available, uh, go to manage location in the in, uh, in that manage location task in the setup and maintenance and define the location, define a location. 
and attach that location here. So that's that's very simple. Uh, that's very uh, very a simple steps to define the sets here. After that, uh, now this lease has what all types of different payments. We need to attach to payment templates here. So we have already defined the payment template. So click on the payments tab, click on the plus symbol, plus symbol, it will pop up a window, the payment window. Here we select the template what we have already defined. Based on the de template definition, system will default the supplier, supplier site. Asset number we need to pick. Enter the start date and end date. By default, it will be same as the lease, the parent lease, what we have defined. Now, what is the amount of this payment that we need to enter? So these are the few important information which we enter here. Our frequency of the payment gets defaulted from the payment template. And once done, click on create another because I want to attach another payment template here because we have defined three payment templates. So I will attach one by one to those. But if you have only one payment template, then click on save and close. Since I have to attach more than one, so I'm clicking on the create another button. Similarly, attach the next payment template, which is security deposit here. It is attached to the same asset. Uh, enter the amount, which is 80,000 here. And since uh, if you remember, the frequency of this payment is one type. So number of payments gets defaulted to one. Click on create another. So the third payment template, what third type of payment, what we have is insurance. Payment uh, frequency is annual. The amount I defined here as 20,000. Now I'm done with my uh, all the different types of payments. What is required for the building, what I'm taking on, which I'm taking on leads. So click on save and close. And here we can see all the three different, all the three different payments uh, got attached to the lease. Once uh, it is done, the next step, go to the action drop down, click on validate and ensure that the lease gets validated. If any, if there is any problem in the lease uh, record, then the validation errors can be seen in the validation tab, uh, one, two, three, four, fifth tab from left in this window. But since my definition was okay, so no error happened in the validation. Next step, uh, click on generate schedule. Uh, I have already generated the schedule, so it is soon disabled here. So, but after doing the validation, you need to click to click on the generate schedule. The schedule will get, schedule will get will get generated. Once schedule is generated, next step is uh, click on the activate. So this is the last step to complete the list definition. And once we click on activate, the list will get activated and we can see the status of the lease is active now. Okay. So this completes the definition of lease. Now lease is active. There is another button here, attach lease detailed report. So once you click into that, it will submit a process which will attach the amortization schedule and the payment schedule as an Excel file to the lease. So once you click here, uh, it will submit a process to attach that Excel uh, report on the lease. 
uh, but after clicking that you have to uh, once the process is submitted you need to requery the asset uh, requery the list so that's what i'm doing here enter the list number click on search my list got queried click on the link for the list now we can see in the schedules we can see a file attached the excel file we can download this file to see the details of the amortization the right of use value the payment all things will be there in the excel file so uh so uh, once we do this so uh, we have uh, done the we have completed the uh, lease creation and let me show you the lease uh, file the excel file which got generated <clears throat> you can download that file from uh, this link so this type of detailed calculation which system does will be created and attached to the lease now when we do the accounting of different accounting events i will refer to this file and i will explain which value is what so uh, due to time limitation i'm stopping here uh, we'll proceed further for the accounting of the lease and we will discuss this excel file a bit in brief in next video so uh, thanks doc for watching Bye for now.